young mistress, I know that you are studying, but please consider taking a break. It is your birthday, and I baked you this cake to make this day even more special. Young mistress, did I do something wrong? Please forgive me if that's the case. Not feeling well? What is wrong? This morning you were fine. Should I take your temperature? Miss, why are you not looking at me? Please allow me to know if I did something that bothered you. I see. To hear that it is not because of me is a relief, but on your birthday, you should be happy and lively. Young mistress, please, let us sit on your bed and talk about this. My priority has always been you. If you are not feeling happy, then I will not rest until I bring back that radiant smile of yours. You cannot tell me what's wrong? May I ask why, miss? I understand if you don't want to. <laughs> Please, pardon me. It is just that I was remembering when you were born. I was still a child. There were so many things of which I was unaware. My mother told me that one day I would be the one to take care of you like she did with your parents. I asked her if you were my little sister. Do you know what she said, miss? She said yes. So until you were about four years old, that is what I believed. I was entirely convinced that you were my little sister. That alone motivated me enough to start learning things like cooking, sewing, even gardening. I wanted to give you the best I could. Feed you with the most delicious dishes. Dress you so you would always look elegant. And have a beautiful garden. Whenever you might need some fresh air. I had such innocent motivation. <laughs> Once I realized I was being naive to believe you were my little sister, I was a bit worried. Worried that, despite my efforts, you would not consider me as someone you could trust, as someone to be a confidant. I feared that you would see me as just a servant. After all, your parents were distant from my mother, and even from me when I became the head maid. As a maid, I must focus on my duty. But you, you did not distance yourself. You showed gratitude for every single thing I did for you. You even tried your best to lighten my burden. You really became my little sister. Even so, I... I still call you young mistress, even when we are alone like this. But it is more than just a habit. Your parents may fire me if they heard me address you any other way. In front of them, I wouldn't even dare to use your name. Huh? A request? But of course, please, tell me. You know I will do anything for you, young mistress. You want to lay your head on my lap? Of course you can. You do not even have to ask. It has 
has been a long time since we have done this. When you were a child, you used to ask for a lot of this kind of thing. I could not tell you that it was a problem, that we would certainly be in trouble if your parents found out, but even so, I could never deny you. <laughs> Do you remember that one time you asked to sleep in my bed? That was the only time I declined. Not because of any weird idea, but if your parents had gone to your room and discovered you were not in bed, they would have come directly to my room and, well... <laughs> After that, I noticed you were a bit sad. I was worried that you would draw away from me. And it is true that we were not in trouble, but... I think it must have hurt you. We lost this kind of contact. You used to hug me every morning when I brought breakfast. You always held my hand when we went for a walk in the garden. We no longer had times like this where our bodies were so close to each other. <laughs> Which is why I am so happy right now. Happy because, despite not knowing what is bothering you, we are at least close together. And that makes me feel a bit more at ease. I know that eventually you will tell me. I know you so well. I have been by your side for years. <laughs> and young mistress... Do not assume that I never found out about those books you were reading a few months ago. Books about forbidden love, about couples struggling against society, or even against the gods. But all of them with happy endings. They were romantic. Oh, don't be embarrassed. You're a sensitive and passionate young lady. Huh? How did I know how the books ended? Well, I suppose since we are being honest with each other, when my tasks were completed for the day, I read them. You really want to know what I think? I... Well... It's... Inspiring, and it's cute. Hmm? You have another request? Please let me know it, miss. I you want me to call you sweetie? Uh, oh, well... No one can hear us now, so... All right. Will you try the cake I baked for you or not, sweetie? Oh, no, you don't have to move. I can reach the dish without any difficulty. Please, allow me to spoil you. Just a little. Say, ah. Oh. <laughs> How is it? Really? I'm so glad that you think it's delicious. I made it for you especially because I know that this birthday has not been... Uh, I mean, I know that this has been a difficult time for you. But it is not over yet, right? Huh? The taste. I don't know why it would taste sweeter than my usual cakes. Hmm. Oh, no, it is just that I actually used a little less sugar than my usual recipe. Hmm. Mr. 
mistress. I mean... Sweetie. I do remember... How you used to tell me I was pretty. Do you remember? You would say that no other girl could come close to my beauty, that... No other girl was close to me in any aspect. Back then, I thought you were saying such things because... Well, it's natural for little girls to admire older girls, is it not? But... Did you really mean it? You did? I... I see. And... What would you say now? I mean, am I still... The most beautiful girl in your eyes? Oh dear, you'll make me blush. I know, but you are just so kind and generous. I'm so lucky to be able to care for you. And on top of that, well, you are so beautiful yourself. I mean, please forgive my boldness, young mistress. But I meant it. You are becoming a beautiful and elegant woman. I feel a bit of pride when I look at you, knowing that I have been doing my best. Hmm? You really think that I have been the one to raise you? Instead of your mother, for example? I suppose that you are right, when you put it that way. I have always tried to be there for you. Here. I will put the cake aside. M my smell? It's only rose water, but I am glad that you like it. Do you have any other requests for me, sweetie? You do know that, for you, I would do anything. Is there not anything else you want to do to me? <laughs> I love you. Anything else you want to request of your maid? <laughs> oh, now you are too embarrassed. Hmm. I guess that when we are alone like this, I am no longer your maid who obeys you, or your big sister who spoils you. I am someone else to you. Am I not? For years, I was waiting for this moment, you know. As... As your... Lover. And not your maid. I will take the lead this time, alright? What do you mean? I'm finally yours. I was always yours. I was always yours, my love.
You mean, this is what was worrying you before? I see. You thought perhaps I did not see you as anything more than my young mistress. Well, now you are more than just the young mistress. You are my beloved and my confidant and perhaps one day I'll be your wife. Like in your books, right? A happy ending. <laughs> Let us hope that one day we will be able to do that. It is getting late, and I do have my duties. Please, enjoy the rest of the cake. Happy birthday, young mistress. And good night, my love.